Hiya, um, this is the second lesson of, um, <laughs> I forgot what back it is, I'm having to re-record this, um, because when it was originally recorded for my first years last year, it, it has no sound on it, uh, so this is our lesson two of the um, equations and inequalities pack. Just to add to the extra fun of it all, I have an idea that this is the video is only going to last five minutes. There's a time on it with the, the, um, the software I've got, so I'm going to have to be a bit speedy about it. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply through by x. And what everybody does, well, not everybody, what a lot of people will do is they'll do the 3x because they'll think they're just moving it to the other side, but they have to multiply the, that x as well. So I've got an x squared. Then I've got x squared minus 3x minus 18 is equal to zero. And then that nicely looks like a quadratic. I can put it into poly. So I'd put 1 minus 3 minus 18 into poly. We'll have done that, right? we're just kind of looking through. I'm sure we have. And it will give me out x is 6. Oh, sorry. x is 3. Oh, I'll get myself so confused. x is minus 3 or x is 6. That's right, isn't it? Minus 3 and 6. That's cool. There's one for you to do. So similar idea. Multiply 3. There, and then get that. Right, so look at this one then. So this one I'm going to multiply through by x squared. So I'm going to have a 20 minus x, because it was x squared over x, is equal to x squared. Try and keep the x squared positive. Size difference, biggest ones are positive. It's got to be 5 and minus 4, hasn't it? Oh, sorry, uh, hang on. I've done that right. Yeah, the fact is in 5 and minus 4. So put it into poly. Move it over. Put it into poly with a 1, a 1, and a minus 20. Gives us x equals 4, or x is equal to minus 5. There. I need to read my answers more, don't I? Here's the one for you. Same idea. So I would rearrange that to x squared plus 4x minus 5, 0. There. So look at example 3. So I'm going to multiply through by x plus 2. So I've got x minus 1 x plus 2 is equal to 4. So if I expand it, I've got an x squared. I've got a plus 2x minus an x is a plus x. Then I've got minus 2 is 4. So x squared plus x minus 6 is 0. It's got to give us um, x is 2 or x is minus 3. There you go. One for you to do. Boing. There we are. A little bracket around that. Let's have a look on the next page. So type two. So I'm on three and a half minutes now. I think this will run out in five minutes. I don't really want to get halfway through explaining this. So I'm going to stop the vid now.